All right, so I'm gonna get started on showing you how to set up a text-to-speech video at this point in time. So obviously, uh, you probably wanna open your TikTok app. Little plus button down the bottom here. Um, assuming that you've already scripted and kind of storyboarded exactly what scenes you're gonna shoot on video, then you would have all those videos on your phone ready to go in different segments. And uh, we'll get started into laying some text-to-speech on them. So, big bright plus button down the bottom there. Uh, don't mind my screen there. Next, next you wanna just double check that you've got the right video length. So if you only, see how it's got 15 seconds there just above the record button? You probably want to have that set at 60 seconds and then upload. So after you've chosen your video or videos, uh, next step here would be to either segment or trim them in the app or simply just go straight in and create text-to-speech. So really the function of text-to-speech comes from writing the captions first and then selecting for TikTok to use text-to-speech. So for example, see how it says describe your video, it's actually prompting you to start a caption. Um, so if I click on that and then say, TikTok ads are getting amazing, whoops, amazing results. And then click on the actual caption and you'll see text-to-speech comes up. Now, unfortunately, with recording my phone, you're not gonna actually hear this, um, but we'll go text-to-speech, it's gonna generate, and that's it'll actually be saying that right now. I might actually get an overlay of the audio and play it for you. TikTok ads are getting amazing results. So essentially, the next bit is to get rid of the caption. If you want to, that is, you actually, to some degree, it might actually be beneficial to leave the caption there. Um, just bearing in mind that, um, see down the bottom as I sort of scroll the caption to the bottom and my profile name and original sound and, and all of that stuff starts to come up. It's actually really handy. It shows you where you might actually be um, overlapped by some of the, the actual assets of TikTok, if you know what I mean. So obviously you wanna avoid putting captions there. Um, and I would probably, when you put a caption there, I would dare say the caption's gonna come up to about here where I'm holding the caption. So anything above there in this kind of area here is ideally the real estate where you'd wanna place a caption if you want. As well as that, you can actually make the caption smaller and move it outside of the screen, outside of the field of view if you don't want your caption to show. Um, now, that <laughs> text-to-speech will be playing on repeat in the background. Um, if we click on the caption again and go edit, we can change obviously the wording. Um, we can change, one of the things I like to do is actually change the color of the back box. So what I do is click on a color. I like to use nice bright colors. I might actually use something a bit more that sits with the background of my LED lights. So you might use something like that again, probably above this bottom third with the caption like that. And the next part is to actually set a duration to make the caption go away um, and to stop it. So click on it again and go set duration. Now interesting to note, I don't know whether you can see it, but if you really take note, that's the shortest I can make the duration because that's how long the text-to-speech voice needs to actually say the caption. So you can't go any shorter than that and that's fine. Uh, because you're probably fine and you should find that with the videos that you create using text-to-speech, there's going to be multiple video scenes. Um, and if there's not, there's going to be multiple things for this text-to-speech robot to say. And so just let it run for the max time it needs. In this case, it lasts for 3.1 seconds. And then after we've done that, we go click the tick box to the bottom right. And that will disappear very shortly as it does there. So then we just add another one, right? So for example, um, what did I say initially? TikTok ads are getting amazing results. Um, as an example, here's how you can get amazing results too. Um, unfortunately, using exclamations or even question marks doesn't actually change the tonality of the text-to-speech. I wish it did. Um, I'm gonna put a box behind that. Notice how the box didn't actually come up here. So See the A, the capital A letter to the left here? I keep clicking that, I think twice, and the box will appear. And then you can obviously change the color of the box clicking one of the, um, the colors there. 
Uh, now it's interesting to note, you can actually just click text to speech here. See you've got the person's head and the audible sounds coming out. If you click on that, that'll change it to te text to speech. Um, otherwise you can just click on that, uh, the actual caption to go text to speech as well. So that's text to speech has been created for this one. So now we're going to set the duration. Um, we'll go set duration. And then what's interesting is all you need to do to make sure it doesn't overlap with the previous text to speech voice is to hold and scroll until that last text-to-speech caption comes up, which should be any second, there it is. And then just scroll a little bit off to the right and as it disappears, that's when you're good um, to add the next text-to-speech text caption. So as well as that, you just wanna give it as much time as it actually needs to add text-to-speech. So you can see I've scrolled to the smallest amount it'll go, which is 3.2 seconds. We'll go tick that. Um, notice it disappears. So one of the annoying parts is um, we have to wait for that to come up again before we can move it. So we'll pop that in there and it's disappeared. Um, one of the things I enjoy doing for the most part is actually trimming the video outside of TikTok, but you can do it in TikTok. But I do enjoy um, editing the video outside of TikTok in a separate video editor like we use Wondershare or Adobe Premiere depending on how technical we want to go. And after we've basically segmented, I'll just click that really quick, edit. And basically after we've segmented the, vi the video scenes and trimmed them and then added them together into one final video, then we just have to upload the one final video into TikTok. We don't have to fiddle around with uh, trimming the video and we can add text to speech very seamlessly. So that's, um, that might save you a bit of time. So I might just go into here and go saturation. So what I wanted to show you really quick is you can move the caption around to save yourself a bit of time not having to wait for the whole video if you've added a 60 second video like I have. So let's say that instead of saying hi, I've said something more useful with this text to speech. Um, and I go to add the duration, I make sure that this me saying hi in text-to-speech isn't overlapping the other text-to-speech captions. So there's the orange one, and then the orange one disappears, and I pop, pop it there. Um, add the duration to the minimal, the least it'll go, which is 1.5 seconds. Then I can click on the word, or at least move it, sorry, and make it bigger, smaller, and place it where I want to before clicking the tick, and then you don't have to wait for the whole length of the video to then come back to your caption and move it and resize it and place it where you want to, okay? Uh, so that pretty well concludes this demonstration. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you soon.